Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Saturday, November 23rd, 2019. I don't know why I keep screwing up different things when I say it. I don't mean to, but uh, I keep messing up. I guess the other day I said August, so that would have been nice. I, I would have taken August, but uh, anyway. Uh, so I, I need some help, guys, really quickly. I'm going to kick around here. I'm going to show you what is that orange thing right up there in the sky. I don't know what that is. Uh, we haven't seen that in a few days. So it's actually, if you can see, it's pretty clear today. Uh, not bad at all. Good solar so far today. It's been a very, very nice day here. It's in the 40s. So, all right. So we're going to get into the topic really, really quickly. Okay. So we're going to talk about seven things that are actually terrifying realities of a long-term um, grid-down situation. Okay. So the first one we're going to talk about is water. Okay. So number one is going to be water. So everybody goes, well, I know there's going to be an issue with water. Well, yeah, we know that there's going to be an issue with water. But uh, what we got to think about when there is a long-term grid-down situation, when will the treatment plants officially be offline, okay? And how long will uh, you be able to use the tap water and, uh, you know, that's coming out of your taps if the if the pumps are still running how long will that water still be good for and be treat you know being treatable okay uh and then with no local news to find out when you know the the water's n not good to drink anymore i mean how are you going to know that so that's that's going to be a crapshoot the reality is with the pumps the once once the pumps stop running the water in your sinks is going to stop running uh, my advice to anybody in that type of situation, as soon as you realize it's a grid-down situation, you fill up everything that you possibly can fill up as soon as possible. Because when that time comes, um, you know, after that, that water is going to be, it's all bets are off. All right? So number two is trash. So here's something to think about, and I'm sure a lot of people don't think about this. In a long-term grid-down situation, what are you doing with all your garbage? Uh, we all still are going to have garbage, okay? So there's trash is still going to be there. Now we got to decide what we're going to do with it. So those are things to think about as well. Uh, you know, because even if you are prepped up and have stuff, you're still going to have garbage with packaging and stuff like that, cans. Um, and garbage can add up pretty quickly, uh, especially if you're in a suburban area and stuff like that, and, you know, they're just going to be throwing garbage everywhere. So those are things to think about, okay? Uh, and then you, what, what comes with garbage, then you're going to have problems with mice and rats and every freaking thing else. So not very pleasant to, uh, to think about overall in that type of situation. Third thing you're going to want to think about in a long-term grid-down situation is sewage or waste. Okay, uh, fecal matter has a lot of very, very bad pathogens and stuff in it. Uh, what are you doing with your waste at that point? Do people know enough or are they smart enough to go out there and dig latrines and s set something up to go to the toilet that way? Uh, do they know what they're doing? You know, uh, you're going to have your toilets are going to be backed up because there's going to be no running water. Where's it going to go and all those type of stuff. So sewage is going to be a definitely a huge, huge issue in a grid down situation because where is all that going to go okay so the next one is going to be disease all long-term blackouts lead to disease okay so we're going to throw in some factors here just so you can kind of get an idea when you have lack of sleep okay um, malnutrition and living without heat or air conditioning uh, you know things are going to get bad fast okay so, you're, you know, the biggest killer, realistically, in a grid-down situation, in a long-term grid-down situation, uh, is going to be uh, waterborne pathogens. Waterborne pathogens are going to be the hugest thing that kills people. Uh, right now, every day, in third world countries, 4,000 children, every single day, die from waterborne pathogens. So I want you to think about that for a second. I mean, they're not treating the water, um, they're just drinking it, whatever. And so you got 4,000 kids every single day right now, in modern day right now, dying in third world countries because of waterborne pathogens. So that's definitely something, uh, you know, to think about, okay? 
So it's, it's, it's scary. I mean, it's a scary situation. So now we're going to talk about, and this one here is kind of weird, and you're going to be like, really? But yes, in a way, if you think about it, okay? Number five is going to be bills. So if it's a long-term grid-down situation, it's only going to affect, let's say, your area, your town, or whatever. And let's say your town is without power for four to five weeks, okay? Are you still going to be able to go to work and work your job? Uh, if not, you know, what, what's going to happen? Your bills are still going to come due every single, you know, month in the beginning. If a long-term grid-down situation, if it was worldwide or uh, countrywide, it would be a little bit different. But if it was a local event that affected just you, your area, uh, the bill collectors don't care. They still want their money. So if you're not able to go to work or get out and do those type of things, what happens with paying bills in that type of a situation? Okay. So number six is going to be the speed of the decline. Okay, how fast things come apart. There's that old saying, we're nine meals away from anarchy. And I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard that. So basically, we're talking about three days of not having something to eat, and people are going to change really, really fast, and it's going to be the decline. Like, you would not believe how fast things will get bad and go bad in that short period of time. Okay? Uh, very scary stuff. Uh, very scary stuff, and I think a lot of people really don't take that into consideration. And number seven is going to be the complexity of the recovery, okay? So what do I mean by that? Well, how long is that recovery going to take? How long is it going to be that you're not going to have power? All right, those are things to think about. And, uh, you know, so are the, are the powers that be going to have certain areas up and running and then other areas will not be running yet, you know? So how long is that situation going to be? How long is that going to take? So people need to think about those situations. Um, and again, I think what you're going to have happen is you're going to have certain areas that the power is going to come back on. And then when it comes back on, then you're going to you're going to have uh, uh, the kids are out there. So next door. So the dogs are being tough guys. There's Caesar being a tough guy. Uh, so, the, you know, the, the um, you know, it's, it's going to take a while, but when you're going to say, like, one town has power, you're going to see people flock into that area because they have power and they're restoring things. So it's just, that's, you know, how, like I said, how long it's going to take, where they're having the power restored first, and how that's going to be. It would be a nightmare still until they got everything. There's Goliath letting everybody know he's there. Um, so those things are going to take time, you know, and, and that's what happens. So I want to mention, guys, we still have the sale going on with Legacy right now. And uh, that is on the uh, meat combo package. It is normally $3.99, and right now it is um, $2.49. So it's $150 savings. So if you're looking to have some savings with that, absolutely um, go check out my website. There's another sale that Legacy is popping up as well. And so I will uh, put that out there as well, and I'll let you know. I gotta get, I gotta talk to my IT guy, uh, Mike, and uh, have him pop that up there. But there's another sale that they're doing right now as well, and uh, that one is a huge savings. So uh, I will have that up there as well. So if you want to check out the website at prepperners1.com, uh, please do so, and uh, you know that way you can take advantage of that if you're looking to add to your long-term freeze-dried food storage. Okay. So, uh, other than that, uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to kick this around and you can see the smoke coming up out of the chimney. <laughs> but uh, very, very nice day. No wind to speak of. So that's been nice. Uh, very low key. Uh, I was helping a neighbor with a project that they needed help with, so I was doing that this morning. And, uh, but uh, the chickens are good, as you can see. Um, see how they're on top of the box by the door? There was four of them on there earlier, and I'm like, unbelievable, they're such a trip, but uh, they're doing well. The guard chickens are on patrol here, uh, Fred and Ethel, so they're definitely keeping things in order, making sure that there's no issues. Uh, here comes Lucy. Uh, but anyway, so everybody's doing well. It's very, very low-key, which is not a bad thing at all. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Guys, remember, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really, really important that you tell the people that you care about every single day how you feel. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. 
Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that can stop you from reaching those goals and dreams are you. Nobody else can stop you, okay? Stay positive, stay away from that negativity, and you'll be just fine. Uh, I hope everybody's having a great weekend and being safe, and I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.